If you want to get text animations just like the one you're seeing on the screen right now, then watch this video because I'm going to show you guys how you can master it in under five minutes in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to be going over three different methods. The mid animation up, the follower text animation, and the bouncy text animation. For the very first one, we're going to grab a text plus and bring it down onto the timeline. Choose any font that you want. I'm going to personally come with this Tactic Sans Black. Head into the Fusion page. Size this down a little bit. I'm gonna name this Mid Animation. This is the sauce. All we're gonna do is hit Shift Space on our keyboard and search in for a Transform node. We're gonna add in the XF Transform node. It should be in the middle just like so. You're gonna come to your center Y and we're gonna bring it down approximately to 0.38. Then on keyframe zero on the timeline right here, we're gonna go ahead and hit this little diamond, which is a keyframe. We're then gonna come to frame 25, use the numbers down here, and we're gonna double click. We're gonna type in 0.5. Now click this little button right here. This is going to open up a panel down below. You're going to check mark your transform, hit this button right here. This is going to zoom in your timeline, then hit command A on your keyboard, right click with your mouse, go to ease, go to out cubic. Now you have a mid animation. Now for the follower text effect, we're going to go ahead and drag down another text plus. Now I'm going to type in follower for the sake then we're gonna go back to the same exact font that we were using, so Tactic Sans, and we're gonna size this up. Now we're gonna head into the Fusion page. Now in this template, we're gonna come to the text box and we're actually gonna right click on our mouse and hit this follower node. This is gonna open the modifiers up here. So we're gonna go to our modifiers and we're gonna come to the transform node and you're gonna notice on this offset, you have an X and a Y. On this Y value, we're gonna type in negative 0.166 and then hit a keyframe. Then we are going to simply come back up to zero on the Y. This is going to create an animation. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna zoom to fit. We're gonna hit command A. And we're gonna go right click and we're gonna ease and then we're gonna go out cubic. Same exact thing. We come back to modifiers and we go to timing and we add a little bit of delay you're gonna notice that these letters are gonna start moving. So now all we have to do is on the delay, we're gonna type in 0.46. Now for some final touches, we're gonna to go ahead and change the opacity to zero on frame zero. We're gonna hit a keyframe and we're gonna come back up to approximately frame six and turn it all the way back up. That way when we play it, we have that effect that we exactly want. Now if you guys don't wanna do all of that and you wanna save so much time, go ahead and get Motion Text Pro down below where you have 40 handmade animations. So you actually, all you have to do is come here and drag and drop this blur up and you can have it just like that. You have the blur right, so you can come here, blur right, blur left. You even have the same thing, but with a shine effect, which is going viral right now. That will be in the first link in the description. It's also on sale as well as my all-in-one bundle. Now for the last animation, we're gonna obviously drag down a text node. We're then gonna head back into the Fusion page once again. Now this time we're gonna do it a little differently. We're gonna come to the size, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna go to modify with, and we're gonna hit anim curves. This is gonna, you're gonna notice you're gonna have nothing on the timeline. So we're gonna head over to the modifiers again. We're gonna come to the curve and we're gonna actually go to easing. Then on this right one, we're gonna go to elastic. Then we're gonna change this time scale up a little bit. Now, if you play it through, you're gonna have this bounce text effect. Now there are a few things we have to change. So for starters, we have the scale. So obviously we need to turn this scale to about 0.2 and then we need to change the time scale. So I found a sweet spot to be 2.2. So if we play this through, we now have this bouncy text effect. That's how you master text animation in DaVinci Resolve. Don't forget to leave a subscribe as it helps the channel. Go cop Motion Text Pro because it is on a mega fat sale. And also consider buying my all-in-one bundle because it has everything you need to edit short form content all in one. But without further ado guys, I will see you guys in the next video.